The Second Chance program in St. Landry Parish is doing more than helping people to recover from drug addiction. It's rehabilitating families. I'm Paris Flanagan, your St. Landry Parish reporter, introducing you to one woman who shares her story about reuniting with her family after battling the darkest moments of her life. Hey. This is uh, my daughter, Emerson. Danielle Leger is all smiles. <laughs> she made eight months Saturday. Embracing her daughter. She was the second chance baby. I feel confident in being a parent today. In the past, not so much. I was addicted to heroin and meth. The drug abuse went on for a few years until Leger discovered the second chance program while being locked up behind bars. I, con I had my family contact him. And I got into the program. Uh, from there, I went to rehab at a Woodlake Recovery Center, and it absolutely transformed my entire life. The program provides assistance to those incarcerated for drug use. Participants can escape jail time and enter into a treatment facility for one year. Rejected by her family, it was Leger's only hope. Doesn't, they don't trust you, you know, what you say does not matter because you lied for so long and, you know, so you had to prove that you were willing to change. I am who I am today because of going to rehab, changing my life. I learned how to handle situations that I never learned before. Second Chance Program, Don speaking. How can I help you? The program comes at no cost to the offender and helps to provide jobs, health, and food benefits. Don Menard, the program's director, says it even helps to relieve jail overcrowding. See, at least 150, maybe a little even more than 150 people out of jail, put them in facilities, and uh, for the most part, our program is working really well. Leje is now a new mom after treatment and is looking forward to a drug-free life. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. The program plans to continue its mission to help those like Leje recover from drug abuse. Reporting in Opelousas, I'm Paris Flanagan, your St. Landry Parish reporter.